So today I want to tell you about Tailkit. Tailkit is a UI component library that's uh, created by a company called Pixel Cave and is headed by John Champ, who you can find uh, here on uh, Twitter slash X. And Tailkit is their library consists of over 500 pre-designed elements that are beautiful, they're responsive, they have support for dark mode, they have snippets that you can copy and paste that are already written for React, Vue, Alpine, or straight HTML. And what's most important is that you can copy and paste these snippets into your application and they just work. Uh, I've experienced some UI kits that you'll copy and paste and it looks it doesn't look nor behave the way that you would expect it to have. And so John and his team, they've done a great amount of work to see to it that this is, they want to cut out all the friction. Now, when you first get set up, there is uh, some configuration you need to add to your application just to support it, uh, especially when it comes to like your, your Tailwind configuration. But if you've already used Tailwind, most of these things you're going to do, these are not going to be uncommon to you but they do have the documentation there to support you in the event that you need it. And like I said, it's just so that, you know, they, they cut out all the friction. Now, when you get into the product, they have a few different types of UIs. They have those that are for application UIs, those for marketing and those for e-commerce. And if you're like me and designing a landing page, just, just drives you crazy. They have multitudes of, components and sections that you can add, but just kind of looking at, at this one, as you'll see, it's it's beautiful. It covers all the things that you would commonly find within a landing page. On the right-hand side, you can toggle the view to see what it looks like in a desktop view, sort of a medium-sized device, maybe like an iPad, uh, or down to a mobile device. And if that's not enough, you can actually uh, break it out entirely to just get the full experience where you're not having to look at it within, you know, a page within Tailkit, right? But as you, as you'll see, it's just outstanding. And so that, you know, so there, they obviously have uh, various elements, you know, call to actions. Uh, the, the hero sections are also really cool. Uh, what's, what's one pricing. So if, if you're going to do uh, pricing, tiers on your landing page. You know, they have you covered. But they have areas for blogs, blog posts, comments, and like I said, they just use copy-paste. Yes, you're obviously going to have to do some work with coding, but they simply have you covered. And uh, within the navigation, you can toggle on and off dark mode to see what it would look like. They have different uh, color palettes you can select from. And then, uh, like in this case, they have snippets for HTML, React, and Vue in this case, where some of the other elements they have uh, Alpine. But if if you struggle with building landing pages, their marketing UI te uh, templates are going to really help you. And then, like e-commerce, uh, the checkout is probably one of my favorites. Uh, it's just, they, I don't know. I, now, this one sort of gives me, makes you feel, has a little bit of a stripe sort of feel. Uh, but if you sort of like those designs, you're you're probably gonna probably gonna love this. But where I want to really show you is the application UI. Um, this is where the the majority of the components reside. But they have those for stacked layouts. They have those for sidebar layouts. Like in this case, they have a light sidebar. Um, of course, you might have some where you have an additional column you want to support. Uh, sometimes people do these. Let's say you have uh, maybe like an inbox and then you want to see the messages in the inbox. You can put that in the side content. And then you once you drill down into it, you can see the full message here on the right. So that would be sort of like what would have you covered. And like for this one, they have HTML, React, View, and Alpine support for this one. Uh, and of course, when you go down the sidebar, you're going to see there, there's a lot, there's a lot of uh, offerings here. But to kind of show you what I... Uh, was leveraging is their sign-in template, which, I, I mean, who wouldn't like that, right? And they have these for not only sign-in, but sign-ups. 
password resets, two-factor authentication is one that I ended up using. Um, and then if you've ever had to have a status page, like they have that, they have a maintenance view, and the list simply just keeps going on and on and on. But if you use, if you have to leverage like tables a lot, which for me, this is, this is a big one because typically styling a table has been like just the greatest pain in the butt, uh, almost since the beginning of the internet browser, right? Well, what's kind of cool is the way that they've been able to style these is that with, when it comes to that overflow, you can actually simply just do this, uh, scrolling horizontally just to see the remainder of the content. Uh, the timeline is one that I got to use uh, just to kind of represent some data in the chronology uh, of presenting it. Um, and then uh, the off canvas is also really, really handy. So let's look at this one with the radio groups. So if you close this, you can see what it would look like in the animation when it slides over. But like I said, you can toggle and kind of get the, the idea what the experience is, is going uh, to be like. Of course, you know, they have the typical like your your modals, but form layouts is also a pretty big one. I actually use this particular one uh, because I, I like that you could have the form elements on the right and you can kind of have the descriptors along a uh, side it, which, uh, of course, when you start entering different, you know, breakpoints within the browser, you'll see how they kind of merge and stack those elements on top of each other, but they look freaking fantastic. Um, and they probably have put, created more dividers than probably most other uh, UI libraries. Uh, let's see here, like like this one with the button. But like I said, they the, the list is going to go on and on. But if, if you don't enjoy designing UIs and you want to make it nice, quick, and simple for you to do it, I want you to go to the link with, that's within uh, this post. Uh, check it out. Um, let John know that I sent you. And I look forward to seeing what you can build. So have a great day, everybody.